Still, finally the dream comes true. The dream comes true. You know, my uncle John has been telling me for years when I was a little kid that I'll defend my world title here. I'm so happy that we've got it, you know, at my ground, Bramalania. You know, I just, you know I'm, I'm overwhelmed with it. You know, all I need to do now is put the hard work in the gym, make sure no stone is unturned and come out here and successfully win, you know, at my ground. It's you that's pushed for this, isn't it? It's me what's pushed for this. You know, I've been on to, to edit time and time again. We need to make it happen at Bramall Lane. We need to make it happen. Sometimes it's fell through, but now nah, I've been on and been on. Needs to happen, needs to happen, Eddie. And we finally got it. And uh, like I said, I'm overwhelmed. I'm so excited. I'm so pleased, you know, to be in Sheffield, to be here uh, fighting. And uh, I'm just looking forward to defending my world title. Does it bring out a pressure for you? It does bring added pressure, but I think great athletes perform better under pressure and uh, bring that pressure on because uh, I'm looking forward to, to everything, you know, what, what comes with it. I'm looking forward to it. You could have handpicked a fighter for your home bow, if you like, yeah. at your stadium, but it's not like that, is it? This, this guy's one of the best in the world. This is, this is the, uh, one of the best uh, fighters in the world. He's the mandatory, so it's basically give the title up and let him fight against someone else, which took me too long to get to do that. You know, or fight this guy, and uh, I decided to fight this guy. It took me too long to get that title, just to give it up. So I'm looking forward to locking on with him and uh, showing, showing world, world championship boxing.